Chicago's lakefront is stunning, but there are thousands of stone carvings by unknown creators that line the city's shore, and they've remained mostly invisible to the public. There's a new book called Lakefront Anonymous that features hundreds of these carvings, and they it tells their stories. Bill Swislow and Aaron Packer are co-authors of the book. Good morning. Thank you both for being here. Good morning. Thanks for having us. I know this good is morning. kind of awkward that we have to have you separated like this, <laughs> but you, it's good to talk to you both, and thank you for coming into the studio. So tell us, how did you find out about these? These go all along the lakefront. These are carvings that are, can you see them when you walk around yeah. the lakefront? Yeah, so th there are, th as you say, there are thousands of these carvings. They, they really start at the Indiana State Line, and they go all the way up to Habat Hollywood Avenue near Osterman Beach there. And they're on the limestone quarry blocks that line the lake that were put in place in the 1920s and through the, some of the last century to protect the shoreline from the lake. And people carved. How I found them was Aaron told me about them. And Aaron, how did you find out? Uh, in 1987, 1985, I forget exactly, uh, I, I had the, the combination of riding my bike along the lakefront quite a bit and taking a photography class and I was looking for a project to do and I and I have a big interest in folk art and vernacular art and so I saw these carvings of various things like hands and faces and uh, Jane Doe plus John Doe etc and uh, that elephant right there and uh, uh, I just couldn't believe what I saw and got my my Nikon black and white photography because all these rocks are gray and uh, uh, started taking pictures and, and developing them and, and eventually printing them and I eventually had a show at the Cultural Center uh, downtown which was a big deal for me and that's where you know probably about the time Bill and I matched up and uh, uh, matched our interests eventually. So that was in 1991 and um, these rocks, these carvings have gotten almost no attention other than that show and a little bit of attention around 2000 in the Sun Times, but so um, tell really us, they're unknown. Yeah, tell us uh, what is the oldest one that you know of, and, and what's the newest one? So, so the oldest one that, that we either of us has found is in Hyde Park and around uh, 45th Street. There's a big rock that says June 1930 on it. Um, the newest one is actually nearby there. There are there's a carving, a little carving of a bee and a flower and a cat that I think were just made in the last year because they're, they look fresh and I only found them within the last year. So, um, But the, most of the carvings were made in the 20th century, starting in the 1930s up um, through probably the 70s, and then they kind of taper off. So is this technically like graffiti on, on, in, in the rocks, or, or, or are we talking about there's, you know, some of these were put there purposely. The, these were put there just by ordinary people. So yes, ah. in a sense, they're graffiti. Yeah, unsanctioned. You know, I kind of view this as the spontaneous sort of outpouring of creativity and a sort of a, a monument to life along the lakefront that the people did. You know, it wasn't sanctioned by anyone. Um, none of these were commissioned. They were made by ordinary people, most of whom probably did not think of themselves as artists. Wow. But, put it all together and it's like a big collective work of art. Yeah, Aaron, did you discover any kind of community of these artists or people that are doing this? You no know, community at all in the sense of individual people. Um, we eventually did find uh, uh, a person who did, you know, maybe a dozen, a dozen carvings, um, sort of a, a Mexican slash Aztec imagery, like like down at Chichen Itza, something like that. Um, and but we never got a chance to talk to that person. We both saw him carving at some point, maybe maybe ten years ago or something like that. I mean, you know, it's an interesting question. The closest to a community, I think, is that at Rainbow Beach and the South Side. The lifeguards there in the 50s and 60s would carve their names into the rocks, and you'll see a lifeguard's name, and it will say like 1963 hyphen four hyphen five hyphen six. So every year they were working at Rainbow Beach, they would carve another number to show that they were working that year, um, and they would pass a hammer and chisel around to make those carvings. So did it, did it get to the point where the two of you are riding your bikes down the lakefront and just counting the number mm -hmm. and taking pictures all the way down, or how did you? How many are there total? You know, I've I've done a I, I've I have gone all the way, walked the lakefront um, pretty much from Indiana wherever there are these quarry stones. And yeah. There's only about six miles of them left. I see. From Indiana all the way up to Hollywood, and I've counted, and there's probably I've counted at like at least twenty two thousand and some wow. sort of unique pictures, and even within those pictures, there's multiple carvings. Now the thing is, there used to be more. 
but many of these blocks were torn out in the early 2000s when the city and the Army Corps of Engineers rebuilt the lakefront. So we think hundreds and probably thousands of carvings have actually been lost over the last 20 years, but there are still thousands out there. And I gotta say, the, the joy of discovering these, as Aaron can attest, is, is incredible. To, you see one and it's so exciting to see the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one. And there's just so much talent that, that is on display out there. And I wonder if Al still loves Clara from back in 1967. Yeah, did you, did you <laughs> well, find that they're still together? Yeah, or? you wonder, I, right? I, I can tell you, if you go out to Promontory Point, if yeah. you go right out to the edge of the point, you'll see Bob Nachtrieb and Linda Turner and Cliff Weaver and Donna Florence and those, those two couples. The, they, the guys made the carvings in 1964 and they are still together oh, today. Oh, that's great. Oh, see? For well, for more on Bill and Aaron on social media uh, or at lakefrontanonymous.com, you can get all the details about the book and all those links around your screen. Thanks so much for being here, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. You too.